A lot of us are seeing sunshine showing up on our sky cams this evening, but that's not the case for everybody. We are still tracking a couple of isolated storms this evening. Those are focused off into some of our southern counties, so off into parts of southeastern Missouri and western Kentucky. Some storms likely developed on what was an outflow boundary from some of this morning storms. We saw a few showers and storms earlier this morning, not quite as widespread this evening, but there's a little bit of activity. A light shower showing up in parts of southeastern Missouri, just off to the west of Townley, north of Valley Ridge. Some more substantial rain coming down in western Kentucky. Some Pockets of that red that's heavy rain, a little bit of lightning just to the south of Mayfield extending down uh, into Payne and then also seeing some showing up in southern Callaway County. So just a little bit of an active afternoon and evening for some of us. Thanks to this morning storms, we did see some cooler temperatures for some of us. Thanks to again that outflow that made it pretty bearable across parts of southern Illinois today and still nice this evening. But check it out. This is the heat index values and some of our southern counties just aren't getting a break. Paducah still feels like a 100. We've got Cape Dorado feeling like 99 and Poplar Bluff still feeling like 111. So a little bit hot and humid if you haven't gotten any of those storms. Isolated storm chances are going to be sticking around into the evening, but after sunset, really expect those start to diminish. And then as we get into Wednesday, it's another very hot and humid day. The chance for some showers and thunderstorms will come back a late Wednesday night, and then that'll be sticking around into Thursday. So there is a little bit of relief on the way until we get there. It's going to be really hot and uh, really uncomfortable as you're getting outside. We do have a heat advisory that is still in place for parts of the western half of the area. That's often to parts of southern Illinois and southeastern Missouri. That heat advisory is in place until 8 p.m. tomorrow. So that gives you an idea of how long some of this heat is going to be sticking around. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to temperatures in the 70s, but as we get back into the afternoon, high temperatures will be climbing back up into the low 90s, and then we'll see those heat indices back into the triple digits. So muggy and uncomfortable, especially if you're working outside. Just make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Take breaks indoors. We don't see the relief coming in until late Wednesday night. So by late Wednesday night, our next cold front starts to drop in from the north and west. That will start to bring in the chance chances for some widespread scattered showers and thunderstorms. That activity will then linger into Thursday. So by Thursday, thanks to the clouds, thanks to the rain, it'll be a little bit cooler. Keep that Storm Track 3 app on standby, of course, with the rain coming our way. Best chances will be Wednesday night into Thursday. Some of that, though, will linger into Friday. If you have any weekend plans, there's a chance for some pop up showers and storms, but overall it will be fairly low and then we start to see them climbing back up as we get into early next week. So we're not going to be in a complete dry spell, but uh, overall it will be drier and back to the heat as we get into the weekend. So enjoy Thursday. It brings back the rain, drops the temperatures down. We're talking about 84 degrees for that high on Thursday, pretty mild into Friday as well. 87, but as we get into the weekend, uh, maybe getting back into that pool weather as we start to close back in on 90 degrees. All right. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Stacy.